Episode 7. His name is Ian Wilkins. Oh, good lord. Patrick, could you bleed over the other side of the room, please? I have a particular sensitivity to large amounts of blood. Patrick, are there any medical supplies at all here? No, I... I think I used up the last of the bandages. I was dressing up as a mummy for the uh, Halloween fate last October. Ben, you moron! No, to be fair, you look really good. Oh, no, actually, it was really, really good, great, actually, Ben. Thank, Thank you all very much. Hurry! Stop prattling on about my blood loss and prioritise. We have a customer here who's come a very long way, haven't you, sir? Yes, can I, can I get you a, a, a latte? Sorry, I lost consciousness there for a second. <laughs> are, are you dairy intolerant? Uh, guys, the meeting has started. What meeting? Is it the meeting where people decide to get off their fucking asses and help me stem this bleeding? No. The meeting to decide what we're going to do with the handsome gentleman cruelly tied to the table by his stylish off-the-shoulder man bag. <laughs> well, can I be the first to put forward the idea that we kill it? For the good of the community. Well, first of all, can we start using some respectful pronouns, please? It's a him, not an it. And I think, as a community, we should welcome him with open arms. No, on reflection, so do I. That's what I think now. It's a fucking it, all right? And I think we should brain it. Oh, oh, I have extensive experience in braining. I once brained a terrier and wore its skin as a scarf. I am such a fashion freak. Methinks the gentleman is too handsome for a brain in. (laughs) Oh, God, I'm sorry, was that too forward? I agree with Connor. I'm going to kill it. Harry, please, it has a name. Right, well, what is it then? Uh, I'm not sure. Ben, can you check his man bag for ID? Well, it's not really on, though, is it? I mean, you know... Rifling through another man's man bag? No, Sally, I shan't do it. For ethical reasons. Benji, what have we said about undermining women in public? Okay, all right, well, I'll violate my principles. For you, Sally, not the first time, won't be the last. Oh, (laughs) you went for my throat there. Cheeky. Right, uh, we've got a wallet here. His name is... Ian Wilkins. His name is Ian Wilkins. His name is Ian Wilkins. Come on, everyone. His His name name is is Ian Wilkins. Wilkins. His His name name is Ian Ian Wilkins. Wilkins. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lost consciousness there again. Uh, Begging your pardon, Mr. Wilkins. I'll get you that flatbread. Harry, uh, could you do it for me, please? I have lost a lot of blood. Right. Patrick's going to die real soon. We need to find some medical supplies outside the community. I need someone to help me carry Patrick. Who's in? Ooh, me, please. Girls are tour. Yee-haw. Anybody else? No? Right. Fine. Patrick, you come in with us. <laughs> Leave the cafe unattended. (laughs) Harry, if there's one thing I've learned in business, is that a leader... Right, he's blacked out. Good, that solves that problem. Bex, grab his arms. And Caitlin, can you handle this mutant problem for me whilst we're gone? But Harry, have you seen the way he looks at me? I feel 16 again. Caitlin! Okay. But it's such a waste of a pretty face. Good. Great. Okay, everyone. We're leaving. We may be coming back. We may be not. But remember, whatever happens, promise me you'll look after each other. Can we cover up Ian Wilkins' cock and balls? Yeah, someone grab a towel. His dignity needs to be top of our agenda right now. Just don't get eaten, please. I'll be really cross if I come back and one of you's been eaten. 